Hey guys, today we're way out here in the vast sandy wilderness of New Mexico and we're going to be exploring an abandoned ghost town that's split right on the border between Texas and New Mexico. Glenrio is a forgotten ghost town that straddles both sides of the state line dividing Texas and New Mexico. The community was founded as a railroad town in 1903 on what used to be part of the Ozark Trail, which eventually transformed into the historical Route 66. Initially, the area was primarily populated by large cattle ranches, but as time went by, farming expansion was responsible for most of the area's population growth. By the 1930s, U.S. Route 66 was a paved two-lane road served locally by several filling stations, a restaurant, and a motel. And the road was even widened in the 1950s. A Texaco station was built in 1950, and a diner was built in 1952, both on the Texas side of the town. So if I'm not wrong, this is the uh, historic post office of Glen Rio. Not much left. Glen Rio, New Mexico. You can still see remains of paint that used to cover some of the walls here and the door frames and window frames. Remains of a car here. Let me know if you know what kind of car it was. Looks like there used to be more back here at some point. Yeah, there's a whole wall there. Faced with a modest but locally significant economic boom, it must have looked like this town might actually be going places. In the meantime, the unique location of Glen Rio on the border of Texas and New Mexico led to some interesting business practices. Interestingly enough, all the gas stations in this town were built on the Texas side due to no sales taxes on that side. And uh, all the bars and any kind of pub were built on the New Mexico side because for a while, the county on the Texas side of the line was dry, so no alcohol there. In 1955, the small town suffered a blow when the Rock Island Railroad Depot was closed. However, Glen Rio's fatal blow came in 1975. The final straw for this town was when it was bypassed by Interstate 40. So that was the final nail in its coffin that led it to its final demise. Some kind of restroom. Anybody need to go? Try the light switch here. <laughs> I doubt it works. The remains of the town now include the ruins of the Courtyard Motel and related Texas Longhorn Cafe and Phillips 66 service station, the post office, the old Route 66 roadbed, the former roadbed of the Rock Island Railroad, a few homes, and several other crumbling structures.
Interestingly enough, portions of the 1940 film The Grapes of Wrath were shot right here in this very ghost town, and an abandoned Glenrio motel is depicted in the town of Radiator Springs in 2006's animated film Cars, where the architectural design of Glenrio's Little Horace Cafe is used for a vacant, abandoned building, which eventually becomes the Racing Museum. In addition to that, the opening scene from the more recent movie Daylight's End was also filmed here at Glenrio. Thus, we can see that the dusty, decaying condition of the town's remaining buildings belies the unique, colorful history behind the town of Glenrio, and serves as a reminder that sometimes historical treasures in America could be hiding where you least expect it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.